Hey everybody, today there is a brand new episode of the Sales Success Stories and this one features Stephen Chase. Stephen, so excited to have this have had this conversation with you on the on the podcast. Thanks for doing that with me. Yeah, no problem. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. So this is episode 110 on the Sales Success Stories podcast. Stephen is known to some as the sales weasel and we actually get into that story and and what's behind that. Uh, in in our conversation, but there's two things I want to talk about real quickly, just to give people kind of a hint of of some of the key things we talked about, and two that really resonated for me. First and foremost was the way that you have sort of tried to detach yourself from the outcomes. Talk about that, why you do that, and and what you do to what you do focus on. So being an SDR, obviously, it's a pretty stressful job. You're trying to fulfill the pipeline needs of your AEs and stuff like that. So being focused on the meetings can cause some serious burnout. And if you're not getting them, then you just compound the stress. So basically what I've done is I've just focused on having the conversations and trying to help people and detaching from the stressful, oh, I got to get a meeting like voice in my head and really focusing on just, like I said, having the conversations. If people want my help, they want my help. If they don't move on to the next one. Love that. Love that. Such, such a great attitude. And, and again, like you can't control, I mean, just like in sales, you can't necessarily control what's going to close. There's so many things that are outside of your control. What you can control is the inputs and the habits. And we talk a lot about that and the things that you're specifically doing, the things that you are controlling. The other thing that I know is a really big factor for you and your success is your mentors. Talk, talk about you feel free to name drop, but talk about how you incorporate them in, into just your own personal growth and, and path to mastery. Well, it's it's interesting because like I don't have any formal sales background. So really jumping into the water with the sharks, so to speak, uh, I found it in, uh, easier to get up to speed when I was reaching out to people who had been in the game for a little while. Uh, people like Justin Michael, uh, the machine, the sales board, whatever you want to call him, uh, Amy Quick aka my first mentor after Dale Dupree. She's awesome. Apparently she did a sweet presentation on me at last year's Sales Success Summit. So that was cool. Uh, Patrick Downs, awesome. Uh, Francois Bordeaux, basically the whole five on crew. Um, but it definitely helped me get, I think, a, a, not necessarily a competitive edge, but more uh, fine tuned the fire hose that I was drinking from whenever I first got into my first SDR role. So it's been a big help throughout my career so far. Yeah, absolutely. So big shout out to those folks. I know they're going to be listening. There's going to be a, a lot of folks coming into this. So uh, go listen to the episode, go pull out your podcast player, subscribe to the sales success stories. Episode 110 is is where you're going to want to go. And the other things you'll hear about, we talk about rapid ramp, we talk about uh, uh, the path to mastery, we talk about whether or not it is possible and makes sense uh, to outsource the SDR function. We talk about call guides, tons of great stuff in in this. And, and then obviously we just dig into the way that Stephen Chase is, is the amazing Stephen Chase. So you get to hear all of it. Stephen, looking forward to sharing this with, with everybody and, and getting their feedback. Thanks again for doing it. Yeah, no problem. I'm excited for everybody to listen.